New at 10, Children's Fairyland in Oakland has an extra sparkle and glow as it kicked off its annual Winterland event. KTVU's Alyssa Harrington was there for opening night and tells us that visitors were excited to see the decorations after COVID canceled the event last year. Fairy Winterland has returned to Children's Fairyland in Oakland. The tree lighting ceremony, a special moment for families feeling the holiday spirit. It was really beautiful, so much magic, the lights. I think it's amazing. For the next two weeks, the theme park will stay open late and will be decked out in thousands of twinkly lights. This event was canceled last year because of the pandemic. As soon as I heard that it was going to be open for this year, I had to make sure my son had to come to celebrate some Christmas. Executive Director Kimberly Miller said the event includes cultural celebrations of different faiths, scavenger hunts, and diverse holiday displays. We're elevating and lifting up um, as many traditions as we can through this the winter celebration so that kids have an opportunity to learn about it while they're on break. Kids can meet Black Santa and drop off letters, although there's no lap sitting this year because of COVID. Guests can also join Santa every night for a Festival of Lights parade. That's really cool because yeah, as a minority, it's nice to see a, a representation of Santa that you know reflects more of me and, and my family. Kids were thrilled to find snow falling outside the bank in Old West Junction. This is the 17th year of the Winter Fairyland event. It was canceled last year because of the pandemic. Now, I want to show you the topper of this Christmas tree. It is the iconic Fairyland whale. The park is taking additional measures to keep people safe. We saw them wiping down the merry-go-round between rides. Guests must wear masks and are encouraged to stay physically distanced. The event runs from 4 to 7 every night except Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News.